got real freaky this year. I'm asking Chris Kringle for a wooden bowl, some oversized index cards, and a funnel. Ooh, a funnel. That'll be great for funneling. I know. I feel like a glutton. What's on your list, Terry? Well, I'm only asking Santa for one thing, a big box of glue traps to help me with my excessive red problem. <laughs> Are you, Margaret Jo, having any problems with handing out any treats for Santa this year? Oh, absolutely. I always do. I'd like to leave Santa some tap water and rice. If Santa's anything like me, Christmas foods really wreck havoc on the old digestive system. What are you going to leave, Terry? Uh, I can't ever leave food out in my apartment because of the excessive rat problem. Ooh, makes sense. Neat. Good times. Good times. <laughs> well, Christmas is a time for traditional foods and bite-sized treats, and we have a very special guest today. That's right, Terry. He's the owner of his own holiday bakery with a very, very clever name, Seasons Eatings. <laughs> That's really funny. I know. It rhymes with Seasons Greetings. <laughs> Please welcome the owner of Seasons Eatings, Pete Schwetti. <laughs> Well, Pete, Terry and I have been looking forward to having you on the show because, you know, you're the master of all kinds of Christmas goodies. Tell us about them. Well, <laughs> there are lots of great treats this time of year. Zucchini bread, fruit cake. But the thing I like the most is to bring out this time of year are my balls. Mmm, balls. Tell us about your balls, Pete. Well, over, the season, over at Seasons Eatings, we have balls for every taste. Popcorn balls, cheese balls, rum balls, you name it. Wow, my mouth's watering just thinking about those balls. <laughs> it's been years since I've seen any balls. Would you like to see my balls now? Yeah, whip them out. <laughs> There you go. Mm. Wow, you have some beautiful balls. <laughs> They're bigger than I expected. <laughs> A lot of people tell me that. <laughs> Look at that, Terry. Look how they glisten. That's because make sure that each one of my balls gets plenty of oil. I can't help but notice, Pete. Your balls are a little misshapen. <laughs> That's because I rested them on a hot stove too long. Oh, can I touch your balls? Go ahead. But be careful. They're very delicate. <laughs> wow. I can't wait to get my mouth around those balls. <laughs> I like the way your balls smell. <laughs> my balls are here for your pleasure. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> oh, wow, Pete, I have to say, balls are very tender. Well, there's no beating my balls. They're made from a secret sweaty family recipe. No one can resist my sweaty balls. Wow, sweaty balls. Oh, sweaty balls. You gotta have them in a pair. Nothing like a sweaty ball. Oh, good balls, good balls. Mm, good times. Good times. Mm. Our producer is telling us that it's time to wrap it up. <laughs> That's all the time we have today, Terry. So join us next week when our topic will be that other holiday favorite. Fragrant flavored nuts! Uh, uh, ladies, uh, a quick plug. If you order from Seasons Evenings now, you can still send out a special sweaty ball sack in time. <laughs> Great idea. Denise would love a sandwich yeah. with yeah. balls. Yeah. Good times. Good times. Good times. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks.